Hello and welcome to another informative tutorial for the next generation vectorizer, the ContraTrace software. In today's tutorial we're going to explain how the edge operator works and how you can use it to get better results in the extracted contours. First of all, understanding when to use the edge operator is crucial to achieving the best results in extracted contours. In scenarios where the exported contours will be used for milling purposes, such as creating a shadow board, it's generally not advisable to use the edge operator. This is because milling typically requires precise contours of objects without unnecessary detail or enhancements provided by the edge operator. Another reason to avoid using the edge operator, particularly in applications like shadow board creation, is due to the nature of contour trace edge detection algorithm. Contour trace detects the contours based on transitions from black to white pixels in the image. When the edge operator is activated, it detects contours both from the inside and outside of edges, resulting in the detection of two separate contours instead of one. This can lead to confusion, as you may notice two distinct contours on the same spot within detected contours. In such cases, it's essential to deactivate the edge operator if it's not required for the specific application. On the other hand, if the exported contours are to be used for engraving purposes, the use of the edge operator can lead to better results. Engraving often requires clear and well-defined outlines of objects, which the edge operator can help to achieve by highlighting edges and boundaries in the image. Now let's see how the edge operator works. ContraTrace applies an edge detection algorithm known as the Canny Edge Detection Algorithm. This algorithm detects edges within the image and displays them as single white pixels connected to each other against a black background. It relies on gray value gradients, making it particularly effective for colored images. If you've already applied a black-white filter, the impact of the edge detection algorithm may be minimal since strong edges are already emphasized in the image. The two sliders allow you to set a lower and an upper threshold. Edges with a value higher than the upper threshold will always be displayed. Edges between these two thresholds will only be displayed if they are connected to an edge above the upper threshold. It doesn't matter if the lower slider is further to the left than the upper slider. In this case, the lower slider becomes the lower threshold, and the upper slider becomes the upper threshold. It's advisable to set the upper threshold at a level 2 to 3 times higher than the lower threshold for optimal edge detection. The noise reduction option offers three levels of noise reduction achieved through a Gaussian blur filter. We suggest beginning with the highest noise reduction level, represented by the value 0. If additional contours are required, lower noise reduction levels, such as 1 or 2, can be utilized. It's important to note that these options are quite aggressive, and fine-tuning should be conducted in the Blur tab for optimal results. To enhance accuracy, check the box provided next to increase label. Be aware that depending on the complexity of the image, Enabling this option may result in increased computational demands. That concludes this tutorial. I hope that I've given you a comprehensive overview of the various settings of the edge operator that make it easier to extract contours. For more details on all the features of this program, watch the other videos, visit our website at contortrace.com or contact us directly to find out more about ContraTrace.